This is how I set up my differential thrust with the DX9. Here's how it works. That's with differential thrust off. It takes off nice and straight. I turn differential thrust on. Left rudder spools up the right motor to spin around. I got this at 100 percent, so we do some crazy things with it. This is with the throttle all the way back, only left. And as I increase throttle, keep that rudder pin. Same with the other one. And then of course both of them stick track nice and straight. I'll show you how I did that. The first mix. Is throttle to auxiliary one. Now you'll see the offsets at minus 20%. The reason for that is because one of the ESCs is a little bit slower than the other. And that 20% made it track nice and straight. And it just fixed a, a boatload of problems. Mix 2 is rudder to throttle. The rates are at a minus 100%, zero offset. And I put it on switch A so I can turn it on and off. And then the next mix, three, is rudder to auxiliary one. Again, on switch A, both at minus 100%. And uh, you can also see the props are spinning in opposite directions, which will really help with uh, torque roll, as I learned on the guinea pig. So I hope that helps. There's a, if you go down to... the channel assignment it's normal auxiliary one is channel six auxiliary one on input configuration I have inhibited And the only other thing I may have done here is everything's the same at 100. Ailerons are trimmed up a little bit. Auxiliary 1 is reversed. And it works great, as you can see. So again, that's at 100%. That's set up to do some really crazy stuff. It should be a lot of fun to fly.